The ghost town in Australia where even breathing can kill you. Imagine a town so perilous that stepping foot inside could risk your life, and even taking a single breath might lead to a slow, fatal illness. This isn't a dystopian movie plot. This is Whitnum, a ghost town in Western Australia, erased from maps and severed from modern life, yet still hauntingly alive in its tragic legacy, a town built on a fatal foundation. Whitnum wasn't always a ghost town. In 1943, it was the epitome of a real estate developer's dream, a bustling hub created to house workers mining asbestos, a material that was, at the time, hailed as a miracle substance. Thousands of miners and their families flocked to Whitnum, creating a thriving community with schools, shops, and a population that reached up to 13,000 during its peak, but hidden beneath the promise of prosperity was a deadly secret. Asbestos, when disturbed, releases tiny fibers into the air. These fibers, invisible to the naked eye, can lodge in the lungs and lead to devastating illnesses such as lung cancer, asbestosis, and mesothelioma. At the time, little was known about its dangers, and those working in the mines were exposed daily, a tragic discovery, decades later, the horrifying effects of asbestos exposure began to surface. By the 1960s, people were dying at alarming rates. Families, workers, and even children who had lived in Whitnum became victims of the deadly fibers. Over 2,000 people lost their lives to asbestos-related diseases, turning the thriving town into a place of grief and loss. As the truth unfolded, demand for asbestos plummeted, leading to the closure of the mines in 1966. By 1996, the last remaining mining operations shut down entirely, and Whitnum's fate as a ghost town was sealed, wiped off the map. In 2006, the Australian government made a drastic decision to erase Whitnum from existence. The town was removed from maps, signs leading to it were taken down, roads were blocked, and the area was disconnected from power and infrastructure. Officials declared the town uninhabitable, as the environment remained saturated with dangerous asbestos fibers. Ben Wyatt, Australia's Minister for Foreign Affairs and Lands, issued a stern warning. I have one word for anyone who wants to visit Whitnum, don't. A ghost town's eerie allure. Despite these warnings, Whitnum has become a magnet for adventurous tourists and thrill-seekers. Abandoned coffee shops, vintage cars, and eerily quiet streets serve as haunting backdrops for selfies and exploration. Some even camp near the area or swim in the nearby lakes, activities that expose them to the invisible killer floating in the air. This reckless fascination has frustrated authorities, who can do little to enforce safety measures in a town that officially no longer exists. Why Whitnum is still dangerous, asbestos fibers remain in Whitnum's soil, buildings, and air. Even the slightest disturbance, walking through the area or touching abandoned structures, can release the deadly particles into the air. Unlike other hazards, asbestos exposure doesn't cause immediate harm but leads to diseases that can manifest years, or even decades, later, cleaning up the area is virtually impossible. Experts estimate it would take millions of dollars and years of labor to make Whitnum safe again, resources the Australian government is unwilling to invest. Would you risk it? The story of Whitnum serves as a chilling reminder of the consequences of ignoring environmental and health risks. Would you dare to visit this ghost town, knowing the danger it holds? Or should it remain untouched, a cautionary tale for future generations? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. For more captivating stories of forgotten places, dark histories, and incredible mysteries, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Join us as we uncover the hidden corners of our world, one haunting tale at a time.